open up the skies and let the rain fall. Let the water wash our bodies clean. When you find a place where the sun doesn't set, it means the golf never has to end. With almost 24 hours of daylight, this place is perfect for midnight golf. I'm the weekend golfer, and this is Iceland. I've been trying to take this trip ever since I saw this photo of a man playing golf with the sun setting behind him and this caption that said, play golf at midnight. With Iceland tourism trending, I'm going to show you two different ways to play midnight golf. If you like playing tournament golf or you want to explore the mountains of Iceland, then signing up for the Arctic Open is for you. It's over a five hour drive north of the airport, but it's one of the most scenic drives you'll take especially when the rental car agency gives you a 2014 Suzuki with 120,000 kilometers on it. Beautiful. It's a fun amateur event open to people from all over the world. It's a 36 hole Stableford system that takes into account your handicap. Since you can book this through their tour operator, this option gives you the reassurance that everything's booked for you. The second option is for people that want to stay a little closer to the action. Face yourself in the capital city Reykjavik and expect that you're going to pay through the nose for a hotel room that's the size of your closet at home. There's the desk, there's my stuff, there's the bed, oh well, that's it. That's okay because with almost 24 hours of daylight, you're not going to spend much time sleeping or being in your room. So we're off to try and find this golf course. Uh, the name of it is right here. So good luck pronouncing that. Uh, I've been looking forward to this. I saw it on Instagram and I just, I needed to come see it for myself. So hopefully it's out here. And what I found was the most stunning, challenging golf course I've ever played. This is actually a 12 hole golf course with plans to expand to a full 18. I can truly say that if you're going to play one golf course in your whole trip to Iceland, make it this one. I hate to disappoint you all, but I'm not coming back to Canada. Now that I found this golf course, I'm staying here. It's dramatic, it's breathtaking, it's a little bit of an adventure, and you'll remember this course long after you leave here. If you ever say to someone you went to Iceland, the first thing they're gonna ask is, did you go to the Blue Lagoon? Okay, it's a bit of a tourist trap and it's a little bit crowded, but you have to go. Just make sure you book well in advance. The Blue Lagoon costs 54 euros to get in if you book it early. And that rate includes a towel and your first drink is free. It's good to find a little relaxation in between rounds. After the Blue Lagoon, it's time for the main event, Midnight Golf. Right, so we are off to go meet up with random Icelandic dudes. So I'm off to the GKG Golf Club. I read about this program they had online called the Golf Buddy. It's where tourists like me can be paired up with locals to play around. And after just a few holes, it felt like it was my Sunday foursome. I must say I was pretty nervous walking in, Little did I know these guys had planned a perfect ending to the day. Oh, the Canadian beer. <laughs> 10 minutes to putt out at midnight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> About six minutes to midnight right now. The sun's not even trying to go down. One minute to go. Midnight, baby! Oh! <laughs> you know, this is just one more thing that I want to throw on your list to show you that golf isn't just about joining a country club. It's now one o'clock in the morning. The sun 
It barely set. It's now back up. Everybody had a few beers. We're ready to go back out and do this again. So golf around the clock? Why not? Till next time. <laughs>